So here we have a set of subtools from a Kitbash kit that I found online. Um, I can't remember who made them. This is only a subset of their um, of their free models. If anybody does recognize them, please do let me know so I can give credit to the original author. Um, but they were given out for free, um, that much I remember. <laughs> so, but if I have these as one subtool and they're all merged together and I want to export these as multiples, I can see, you can see that I've, I've grouped these now according to uh, individual objects. So we can split these up. If I do split them up, it's going to take this original name and it's going to give them all the same name and then append a different subtool name or a different number at the end of that. So if you try and export from the tool export menu, you're just going to export an individual subtool like Merge Mac 48. If you want to export all of these as, as individuals, you can go to your C plugin palette, choose export, and this will allow you to choose a different format, GoZ, MA, X3D, or OBJ. And we'll choose OBJ and call them um, Sean. So if I do that, it's going to take the name Sean, and you can see how slowly it is going through this, but it's going to take the name Sean and it's going to put it in front of the name merged underscore mech and then the given number. Um, you see it's quite slow going through these, but once it has done them all, we're left with Sean and then the merged mech num uh, and the number of that. So these align up to the names of these objects in here. So I'm going to delete all of these now and try again. Only this time, rather than using this subtool master export, I'm going to go to the 3D print hub instead. Uh, and from here, you can see in the export options, um, when we go to export OBJ, we can choose to export all of these to separate files. So if I hit export OBJ here, and this time if I put in the name Sean, it, it's going to append subtool and then a number at the end of this for each of the files, or use the subtool name that we currently have, merged mech, as the file name or prompt for each one. So I'm just going to choose Sean, for example. This could be mech parts or whatever it was and it'll call it subtool one. And you can see it's going through this much, much faster as it goes through this. And not only does it do that, it also exports the MTL or the material files for the OBJs where you're using them. I'm going to delete them in this instance as I don't need them. But that's the quickest way to export multiple subtools with a custom name um, as you see fit.